opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. d5 establishes a presence in the center, controls the e4 square, and opens up the light squared bishop. The queen's gambit offers up a wing pawn to attack the center and distract black from the e4 square. In the Slav defense, c6 supports the d5 pawn. And c3 attacks the d5 square and starts the fight for the e4 square. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. e6 supports the d5 pawn and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. After all captures, this is an equal trade. Takes back. This kicks an opposing queen. This move puts the queen on a safer square. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is the last book move. The bishop is ready to be developed to an active square. This threatens to kick a knight. It is good. This pins a knight to the king. It is good. The opposing knight is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is best. This kicks an opposing knight. It is excellent. This loses material. It is an inaccuracy. Capturing that knight wins material. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This misses a great but hard to find move. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This misses an opportunity to win material. It is a miss. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. This overlooks an opportunity to reveal an attack on a queen. It is a mistake. This ignores an opportunity to defend a pawn that was under attack. It is a miss. This overlooks a better way to develop a bishop off its starting square. This allows the opponent to kick a queen. It is a miss. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is excellent. This exposes an attack, threatening a queen. It is best. There was only one good move in that position. This ignores an opportunity to kick a queen. It is a mistake. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is excellent. The opposing queen is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is best. This exposes an attack, threatening a pawn. It is excellent. This breaks a pin, enabling a pawn to provide needed defense. It is excellent. This attacks a rook, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is best. This move puts the rook on a safer square. It is best. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. This is a fair move. It is good. Very precise. It is best. This strikes at the center, countering the opponent's ability to grab space. It is best. This defends a vulnerable pawn by pinning one of its attackers. It is best. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. There was only one good move there. This permits the opponent to reveal an attack on a bishop. It is a mistake. This exposes an attack, threatening a bishop. It is best. This ignores a better way to defend a bishop that was under attack. It is an inaccuracy. This threatens to win a pawn. It is best. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This allows the opponent to fork pieces. It is a mistake. This missed a move that would have produced a winning position. This misses an opportunity to fork pieces. It is a miss. This leads to losing material. There was only one good move in that position. This overlooks an opportunity to defend a pawn that was under attack. It is a blunder. This captures a vulnerable rook. It is best. Takes back. It is excellent. This forks pieces by creating a simultaneous attack. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is best. This move puts the rook on a safer square. 
It is excellent. Intense that was a serious game. Black got the better of White in that game. Black had a good opening, but White was on another level. Black found some nice moves in the middle game. 